everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my nail polish collection. I'm not doing this to brag, I'm actually doing this just to keep track of how much money and how much nail polish I buy throughout the year of 2015 because I definitely don't keep track of the amount of makeup I buy and I probably should because I am trying to do more stuff with my life and that stuff needs money. So um, yeah, let's do a nail polish collection. Again, this is not to brag. Some people might think that my collection is pretty big. Some people might think that my collection is pretty average. Others might think that my collection is pretty small in comparison to their own. But these are all of the nail polish that I had. I did not actually count them. But um, yeah, I'm just going to start out by showing you the things that I use to care for my nails um, and my cutie coats. So the first thing that I have is the Dior Hewley. Okay, so obviously I am... Um, not pronouncing it correctly, Abricot Serum or Daily Nutritive Serum. It's actually for your nails and cuticles. It's very, very oily and very moisturizing, so I really do like this. And then uh, another thing that I use for my nails is obviously nail, nail polish remover. And the one that I use is this one by April. I have talked about this in my empties video, which will be linked down below. It is pretty much a very, very kind of unoriginal nail polish remover that comes in a packaging like this, there's a black sponge inside that is completely soaked with nail polish remover. So what you actually do is that you stick your fingers, your hand fingers obviously, inside of this um, tub and you kind of swirl your finger around and you remove your finger and hopefully there will be no nail polish left on your nails. This does not do well with glitters, so make sure to leave that in mind, simply because glitter does not really dissolve like nail polish does, and it will stay in this tub, and also it takes a lot of time to, take, to remove nail polish, uh, to remove glittery nail polish, so I would recommend using the traditional way of a... I will go through my top coats, and then we shall start with colors. My holy grail top coat has got to be the Sally Hansen Insta Dry um, top coat, which comes in red packaging like this. It's actually transparent, so I can tell how much left I have of this. It's very, very, you know, luminous and sheeny, and it also prolongs the wear of my nail polish. I talked about this in my 2014 favorite needles and lip products, so um, I love it so much, and it's definitely holy grail for me. And when I feel like I want to mattify my nail polish, I use the chic the perfect chic matte top coat which looks like this it is i think exclusively a israeli product i'm not sure if you can get it all around the world but here in israel this is a really really good one and now let's talk about my nail polishes the majority of my nail polishes come from an israeli brand which is called jade i hope it's israeli i don't think that don't many think that many people around the world have this brand so maybe it's just you know an israeli brand after all whatever so um, the majority of my nail polishes are from this brand and I'm going to go through them first. The first one is this one which was a recent addition to my nail polish collection and it looks like this. It is the Jade um, Crystal Glow Designs in number 64, a rising star. It has like white stars and the red, white and blue polka dots. So it's really, really cute. It has a clear, um, you know, base to it so you can actually apply it over any nail polish that you fancy applying this one on. And then I have this one, which is the Jade Crystal Crystallic Matte nail, nail, nail Color in the shade 55 Blue Sugar. This one has a sandpaper texture. It's blue with like silver glitters in it. I love it so much. I highly, highly recommend it. And this is what it looks like. Another one with a sandy kind of sandpaper texture is this one which is also by the Crystallic Matte Nail Color line and it is in the shade number 57 Twinkly sh Twinkling Sugar it's like a bluish kind of color it has some gray, some green um, glitter particles it's very very sparkly very beautiful and I really really do like this and then going back to the cream line I have this one from the um, Jade Crystal Glow Nail Enamel nor, or nail enamel in the shade number 474 black cherry which is like a very very deep red very very deep and it just looks like this it's really really pretty especially around the holiday time and uh, autumn and winter and this one is the crystal glow uh, nail enamel in nail enamel in 815 tangerine garnet it's very very sparkly very shimmery 
a kind of a coppery bronze. It has gold sparkles thrown into the mixture. Really, really pretty. I would say this is more like the Jade Crystal Glow matte ones, except this, is, this isn't matte. So this is really, really pretty. I really love it. And then we have one of my favorite nail polishes of all time, the Jade Crystal Glow Nail Animal in the shade Military Style 802. I love khaki green nail polishes, and this is just a beautiful one. So this is definitely a favorite of mine. And then we have this one, which is really, really old. This is the Jade Crystal Glow in a Nail Enamel in the shade 356 Cosmic. It's like a kind of metallic purple. It's really pretty. Another one that I absolutely love and actually wore for Christmas um, Eve. And it is the Jade Crystal Glow Nail Enamel in the shade 807 Black Ruby, which is um, more like a brownie red. A very metallic as well and really, really pretty. I really do like it. I actually feel like there's a little bit of bronze thrown into the mixture. Very complex and really, really gorgeous. Another one, which is kind of more of a traditional red, except this one is metallic, is the same product, except this one is in the shade 808 Hypnotic Red, which looks like this. Really beautiful as well. Mo kind of moving away from reds for once, we have this one from the same line in the shade 822, Rodolite Garnet, and it looks like this. It's like a metallic purple. It's kind of nicer than the first one. And there's a lot of kind of finely milled um, glitter particles in here. It's very, very sophisticated and really pretty. I'm not sure if you can actually see the glitters in this, but it's just gorgeous. And then we have this one, 467 Burgundy Velvet. It's just really pretty. It did, I don't think that it's made it to my 2014 list because I kind of limited myself to um, 10 nail polishes, but this one is really, really beautiful. It's like a brownie purple um, plum shade, really, really gorgeous and perfect for the season. And then we have this one, which um, made it to the list. It's like a nudie plum, very, very beautiful. It's like a rose plum. It's in the shade 413 Tender Plum. Really, really beautiful. And by the way, this one is actually called Burgundy Velvet, and this is number 467, the one that I just talked about previously. Moving on to this one, which also made it to my list, and this is the shade 468, Earthy Vintage. It is a kind of more brown, um, more kind of orange uh, rose, really, really beautiful, really stunning for the season as well. I would definitely classify it as a nude as well. Staying with jade, <laughs> I have a lot of jade nail polishes. This is another one of my favorites. This is called Autumn Mist in the shade 801. And it looks like this. It's like a kind of taupey nude. It's really, really beautiful. I would definitely say that you can actually wear this all year round because it's not exactly plummy, which I would definitely think of as, in, as an autumnal nail polish. So I would definitely wear it all year round. This is called Fashion Alert, and it is kind of a pink-toned red, really pretty, and I think I haven't used it in quite some time, and I'm definitely intrigued now. This is in the number 367, really beautiful. One that I was completely obsessed with last year is this one. It is called Melrose. It's like a beautiful pastel peach. So pretty, so, so, so pretty. I um, used it numerous, numerous times. It is in the number 377. One of my absolute favorites for spring and summer without a speck of doubt in my mind. Another one that I absolutely like and love during summer is this one in the number 480, Purple Paradise, which looks like this, really, really gorgeous. Uh, I love it so much and I highly, highly recommend it. Another one that I absolutely love is in the number 417, um, a Victorian, Victorian lace, which looks like this. It's like a kind of dusty, purplish, rosy shade. Really beautiful, metallic, and just absolutely glamorous. Um, one that I don't wear that much is in the shade 341, Seduction, simply because I'm, not, I'm just not big 
into like you know traditional not metallic reds this is like an orangey red it's kind of beautiful it's just not for me i would definitely give this away to my cousin because she loves shades like that another one that i have is this one and it is another one of my summer favorites this is in the number 392 blue wish and it's like a pastel blue and it's just a creamy kind of one really really pretty for summer Another one of my summer favorites is this one and it is called Lavender Mist and it's like a pastel -y purple. It's like a very beautiful lavender actually. Really, really beautiful. I love it so much and I just highly recommend it. And this is in the number 418. This one is actually from the Crystallic Quick Dry nail color and this is called Tender Moments and it is in the shade number 32. It looks like this, really, really beautiful, especially for like everyday use. I highly recommend it. I think it's just a beautiful color, a nude that works perfectly for all year round. And then I have this one, which I don't particularly like, and it is called Sunset Light in the number 389, simply because this is more sheer than I expected. I wanted, to, I wanted it to look like you know sand on my nails but it, it just didn't it's like too sheer and it's called sunset light 389 one that i don't particularly like that my mother seems to really really enjoy is this one by jade and it is jade crystal glow nail enamel in 230 sweet bliss it's like a pinky like a sparkly pink i'm not big into pink nail polishes as you will find out by looking at the rest of my nail polish collection this is a perfect one for summer, especially on the toes with a tan. Oh yes. This is a Jade um, 411 California Sun. It's like a yellow nail polish. Really, really cute for summer. Another one that I absolutely love for summer is this one in 432 Ice Cocktail. It's very similar to Blue Wish, except this one is sparkly and a little bit more sheer. I'm not sure if you can see the sparkle, but it's just really, really beautiful for summer. And another one of my favorites for summer is um in 466 apricot glow and it is like an app a shimmery apricot shade i'm not sure if you can tell about the shimmers but it's really really pretty it's a little bit sheer so you have to build it up to get like a full opacity, opacity on your nails but it's really beautiful generally speaking one of my absolute favorite nail polishes of all time is this one and i love green nail polish this is mint green in 439 it looks like this really beautiful some for spring and summer i love it so much moving on to this one and it is the in the quick dry line this is called candy pink i don't like this because it's pink my mom actually got it i wouldn't have purchased it myself because i'm just not a pink person <clears throat> another one that i did not like by jade is this one and it is in 312 bridal rose it's just a sheer color it, it, it's not even a, a color it's like transparent there's no color to it i wanted it to look like a french nail polish effect but it just didn't it's like a waste of money in my opinion at least so yeah that is that and my and the last jade nail polish believe it or not is a mini 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 tiny little one it is red and it is in the number 84 moving on from my jade collection which is just extensive to the other nail polishes that I have in my collection, starting with this one from Essie in Dive Bar, which looks like this. I am not exactly a fan of Essie nail polishes, but this one was just too beautiful for me to pass on. I don't wear it as much simply because I'm just not very keen on the formula of Essie nail polishes. When I have time to work on it, it looks really, really beautiful. That's what I'm trying to say. And then I have a Maybelline nail polish, and this is the Maybelline Colorama nail polish i think it was in the shade 184 which is like an indigo ish type of color it's kind of blue and purple at the same time very metallic and very very beautiful so yeah that is that and then i have a rimmel nail polish which obviously my mom bought because i will never buy a pink nail polish i'm sorry so yeah that is that it looks like this so yeah it looks like this this is a barbie pink and if you like barbie pinks then this is the Rimmel in London in the 60 seconds line and it's called Pink Punch in the number 250 and then I have two um, L'Oreal nail polishes the first one is called um, I don't think they have names to be honest this one is a khaki green one which looks like this and it's in the number 605 
and it's really really beautiful I just don't like the formula of these they're just so thick and they just get like they peel off my nails in like 30 minutes and then the second one is in the number either 608 or 809 it is just such an ambiguous color the printing of it is not very very clear to be honest but i think it's probably 608 and it's very very similar to um the uh essay one that i just showed you charcoal blue does that make any sense so yeah that is that and then i have a few um, OPI nail polishes and OPI is definitely one of my favorites. The first one is You Don't Know Jacques and it's just such a famous color but for me it's not a color that I gravitate to. I just think that it looks terrible against my skin tone. So yeah that is that. I also have um, OPI's Amazon Amazoff which is a beautiful green if you have you know the courage to wear a shade like that. I also have this one which is called OPI with a nice finish, as in finish, double N, as in from Finland or something. So yeah, that is that. It's a metallic, beautiful gold, perfect for the um, holiday seasons, perfect for New Year's Eve, I would say. So yeah, this is definitely a beautiful one. And then I have um, Polka.com, I believe. Yes, yes. Polka.com, which is like a glitter nail polish. It has blue, teal, and a pink glitters yes I did say they were pink but in conjunction with all of those glitters it just looks really really beautiful let me shake it a little bit for you um it's just it's just a gorgeous nail polish to be honest and then I have OPI in true Stefani fashion so this was part of a kind of Gwen Stefani collection a couple years back I, I feel and it has fine gl fine silver glitters and then more chunky kind of crystallish um, very, um, you know, reflective glitter particles in this, so it's really, really beautiful. My mom is especially fond of this. And then I have this one, which is called Shine For Me, also by OPI, and it's part of the OPI's um, Fifty Shades of Grey collection. It's really, really beautiful. It has, um, like, the glitters are kind of leaning on the blue side and the silver side at the same time. It's really, really beautiful and complex. I also have OPI's um, dark side of the mood which is just a glorious dark gray nail polish I love gray nail polish and this was also part of the um, 50 shades of gray collection and then I have um, OPI's incognito and Pasolito, which is my favorite nail polish in the entire universe this is just a beautiful one in my opinion highly 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 recommended cannot live without this one beautiful and then I have um, a few um, Laline nail polish, which is a body, which is a sort of body shop kind of store. So um, the first Laline nail polish I have is called Morning Coffee, and it's just you know a brown nail polish for the days where I'm feeling very um, chocolatey, if that makes any sense. And it doesn't because I just came up with it. I don't. I never feel chocolatey at all. Um, and then the second one is called Dark Purple because it's just such an original name. Um, it's like a dark purple one from Lalin as well. I really, really do like this one in particular. And the second one, is, and the third one that I'm going to show you. And then this one is just another one of my favorites. It's called Lovely Purple because it's lovely and it's purple. So yeah, that is that. And then I have another one which is called Dusty, Dusty Stone, which is like a nude, dusty kind of, a dusty nude, yeah that makes sense and um it just looks really really beautiful and then i have one that has the most original name ever laline white very original very very original name um it's white it's very very opaque you get the same opacity in the bottle as it is on your nails or the opposite and then I have a few Estee Lauder nail polishes. The first one is called Sauvain. And I did talk about this before in my 2014 favorites, yes. Um, and it's just a beautiful, sophisticated young nude. I have another one in the shade Pure Color Hot Coral. Yeah, Hot Coral, this is the shade. And it's just a beautiful coral shade right now. I really, really do enjoy this for the summer. 
And then we have a beautiful liar, which I love wearing on my na on my toenails for some uh, reason. So yeah, that is that. And my favorite Estelle de Naples, she's called Viper, and it's like a black and forest green. Yes, very beautiful, very, very metallic as well. So yeah, that is that. And then I have a couple, um, dream, you know, Dior nail polishes. That's the brand. The first one is called Riviera, and yeah, beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I just, I love it. And then my favorite Dior nail polish is this one, and it's called Carré Blue, and it looks like that. It's really stunning. And then we have my last nail polish of this whole collection and it is by annie and it's called velvet velvet chinchilla and it's just a beautiful creamy gray so yeah this concludes this video i really hope that you didn't get offended and that you didn't kind of see through the video as like a bragging kind of video because it's totally not as i told you guys i just want to keep track of the things that i buy so expect more collection type of videos throughout the month or throughout next month as well thank you so 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 much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and leave me your comments down below of what you, what did you think of my nail collection do you think that i should grow or do you think that i should keep it the way that it is and which nail polish brand is actually your favorite and if you have any nail polish that i that you think i just need to get in my life definitely leave that in the comments bar down below and i shall see you in the next video goodbye and take care Mwah.